the love her show with the duo You gotta love her, praise her, treat her right Let your life reflect all the beauty that's inside of you You gotta love yourself, let the best of you shine through Welcome to the Love Her Show with the duo. Yes, welcome back. I'm Kelly Fisher. I'm Tana Gilmore. And together, we're, we're the, the matchmaking, matchmaking duo. duo. Oh my goodness. Welcome so to season two. Great to be back. And oh my gosh, I don't have my cowbell. Oh gosh. Can you believe it? So for those of you who <laughs> did not listen to season one, we recommend that you go back and listen to season one to hear all about this cowbell that she just had absolutely had to have I during did. every episode I mean we were we left the cowbell places we had to go back <laughs> and get it we couldn't record without the darn cowbell yes and so now I've done you all a favor and myself a favor I went on YouTube to find a cowbell app and it's probably not the best but we're just going to work <laughs> with it <laughs> so for those of you who don't know um, we are certified life and relationship coaches professional matchmakers we are we're authors and our newest endeavor we are inventors of a new board oh, game. Woo! Woohoo! Race to the blink. <laughs> I'm like waiting for the app. <laughs> yes, we are new inventors. So we're so proud of our newest invention, Race to the Bling. So the, hence the reason why we've been gone for several months. We've yes. taken some time to really... Um, just kind of hone in on the game and really uh, put our energy and our efforts in running our business and developing this game that's taken us almost two years it to has, make. So, yeah. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, this is totally uncharted territory for us. You know, we thought and we had an, um, an article, an amazing article in Essence magazine where they interviewed us and asked us, you know, what our reasoning was for starting the game and all that. So please feel free to reference that in Essence.com. But the reason that we wanted to do the game is because, you know, we've done so many, I mean, countless workshops and speaking engagements. And, you know, we're always talking about relationship tips and, you know, how to help single women and men move forward. We were like, you know, it would be nice to just have something fun, you know, be able to share mm -hmm. all of our insider tips and talk about all these different topics that come up all the time in a fun board game. And, you know, and it's interesting because um, when we say this all the time that, you know, we are a small business. So Ke it's Kelly and myself. And then we have a small team behind us that support us, an amazing team that supports us. Um, but we are just, you know, a small team. We cannot reach everyone. So although we, we want to, we want yeah. to. And so what we said, you know what, let's do something that we that w that'll make a footprint print, you know, globally. And that, you know, if you think about like Monopoly and Taboo and life and those types of games, those games have been around for years and forever. And people, it just brings people together. People have fun playing it. And it's multicultural. I mean, you can play it in Switzerland. You can play it mm -hmm. in Dubai. You can play it, you know, in Europe. And you can play it right here in the United States, right here in Charlotte. That's true. <laughs> so. Yes. And I think one of the other things that, you know, we've talked to single w women and men, but this board game happens to be for women. We have um, another couple game coming out soon too but um this game it, one of the other things that we you know thought of is that a lot of our single female clients always talk about you know dreading the holidays it's always like that time when everybody gets together they're like okay so when are you getting married what's your relationship status now and sometimes you just don't want to talk about you it don't. i mean you're happy being mm -hmm. single why do you have to keep a answering these questions and they hate those that dreaded question why are you single exactly Ooh, who Which wants we, to answer that we want to blog about that, too. Ask that anyway but, reference that but it's such yeah, a horrible digress. question it is well mm -hmm. I mean, yeah please don't ask that question yeah. anymore because who, who cares but i mean as long as you're happy in your relationship they're good and unless you have someone to introduce them to it's really not a valid question mm -hmm. unless exactly. you're going That's to help um, introduce them to someone but um, you know for the holidays so we were like you know this would be something that would be great around either the holidays or just having friends get together and just coming together and playing a fun game um, having all your friends together and having your own holiday celebration so, the, so just to tell you a little bit about the game as we digress just a bit because we're so excited about it um, so the game is made up of uh, four rows. So they're, the game, the board, actual board game is in, in shape of a diamond ring. So the game is called Race to the Bling and there's four phases in a relationship. There's a single phase, there's a dating phase, there's an engage phase, and then there's the altar. So only one can make it to the altar. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and you have to answer questions along the way. So we From have, us. Yep. And so we'll probably go through some of those questions too in a little bit to kind of just tell you a little bit more, give you a little bit more insight about the game. But but you, you roll the die and you 
land on either a question X to duo, and then you answer the question. If you answer it right, then you get to move a couple of spaces, two spaces. If you answer it wrong, then you move back. And mm -hmm. then you land on, um, you roll the die, and you may land on a challenge. So you may be, you know, charged with doing something silly and fun. And the challenge is sometimes none of them have anything to do with relationships, really. Some of them do, some but some do, of them yeah. don't. Mm -hmm. But it's just to push you outside of your comfort zone and and do be silly you know that's your time to just i mean we are running businesses during the day we are running corporations we're managing families we're doing all of these fun things or doing all of these you know mandatory things that take up so much of our time you know we want to be able to just have fun so it's it's you know i was looking back and reading some of the questions of today <laughs> and just like cracking up <laughs> yes yes i mean how many of us all of us would like to have that game that we pull out and just invite friends over and that way i think it's a safer way even to talk about relationships to talk about even if someone's in a relationship we kind of play tested the game um around the country with our friends and you know small groups of people who are very very honest. It would give us the truth. Yeah, so <laughs> needless to say, we've made many tweaks to it along the way. But, um, you know, I think it's just, you know, a great way to be able to talk about relationships. And some of the people were in relationships and still some were engaged and still had a great time. We even had some women that were married and had a great time because it was still talking about relationships and things that, you know, we all talk about all the time. So and you can just and it just promotes um, conversation, which is great. And so if you think about it, um, you know, we're we're all all of us are in different phases of our relationship, whether it's a new budding relationship or it's a relationship that we that's been around for many, many years. You can still learn something mm -hmm. from each other. It's like, really? That's, that's what you know. Is that what you guys do? OK. All right. right. So, right. yeah, so, yeah it's maybe cool. we should read some of the cards. Um, and I don't know that we have a whole lot of time but I'm, we're just getting on here just to come back and say hello and sorry we haven't been um, available we have missed you guys so much and this is going to be the start of the kind of the kickoff to season two we're lining up some um, speakers and we're also just going to get on here with some wonderful um, relationship topics as well um, we've done traveling the country and talking about all of the things that have happened this year and just some new relationship topics that mm -hmm. come up all the time. So we always have new content that we want to discuss with you all too. Um, so let me just explain. So ask the duo when we get to an ask the duo spot on the board, um, you have two choices. So one card would be where you get a, duo preferred answer. So that's an answer where we kind of give you the answer. Um, that's a question where we give you the answer. And so, you know, everyone has to guess. I mean, that person has to guess um, to have the right answer. But there's also some ask the duo questions where we get the whole party involved. And those say MR from actually they say majority rules. So the majority has to rule with you. So you kind of read the question, you write down what your answer is, and then you find out from the group. And there's usually a lot of discussion around the majority rules questions. And then everyone has to say what their answer was. If they um, agreed with you, they get to move up. If they don't agree with you, then they have to move back. So those are always fun because they really um, invoke a lot of conversation. So mm -hmm. should we read yeah, some of the... Okay, let's see. What is this one? I'm sifting through some questions myself over here. Okay, so this one happens to be Ask the Duo. So you've already rolled the die. You're going around the board. And so you get an Ask the Duo question. So this one says, Your man discusses with you it's his culture to have his parents move in with him as soon as he marries. Mm. This is majority rules. Mm. What do you do? So your man discusses with you that it's actually his culture to have his parents move in with him as soon as he marries. So do you, A, you love him, so the more the merrier. B, this isn't for you. I didn't sign up for that. C, only if your parents can move in too. And D, agree they can move in, but not right away. <laughs> <laughs> So these are just kind of questions that are going to get everyone talking. Of course, it's personal preference, so we can't give a duo preferred answer. But I think it's just great to have conversation around that because these things do happen. Mm -hmm. You're dating someone and all of a sudden he says, oh, you know, it's my culture to have my parents move in. Like, Whenever they get up. older, you're like, Ooh. hold up. Wait Street. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Let me put this pin in it. Right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Although some people would say, oh, I, no problem. The more Girl, the barrier. Who knows? Bye. No, who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, to, I mean, yeah sometimes to each his own. And I get it. Yeah. But right away, that, that's just not for me. What, what about you? I mean, uh, I would like to have the relationship <laughs> kind of blossom first because it's right. very difficult to have your parents mm-hmm. or even your, um, you know, his mom especially um, coming in at that time. So I think at least if you can have the ground rules set for your relationship a year or two in, at least. I mean, he because said right away. Sp- yeah, right I mean, away. the question says right away Ooh. is his culture. Well, Would that be for you? So just say so if he was an say amazing guy and it's his culture to have his parents move in. <laughs> That's here. what the card says. Can I... Ring my bell. <laughs> Ring. What's the answer? What's your answer? Because here's the thing, guys. There's a cowbell. Okay, here's the thing. So whatever her answer is, the majority, the majority of your friends, the majority of the group, they have to agree with her. So if her answer, just say her answer is A, whatever A, a is, and she says, and, and everybody votes with her, then she gets to move like two spaces, and everybody else that voted with her gets to move one. So, but if you don't agree with her. Then she's not moving, and neither are you. Yeah. So the question is that he have um, the man your man discusses with you. It's his culture to have his parents move in with him as soon as he marries. So mm-hmm. I would say if I was in love with him, then ugh, A happens to say you love him, so the more the merrier. So I would go with that. However. What's the I would, however? I would go with A. That's my answer. <laughs> okay. However, mm-hmm. um, because I, I really value my parents, too. And if they needed to move in, you know, I can't be saying that his parents can't move in. But this is that's a little bit different. If something happened, they could move in. Right. Like, this is different. This is, yeah. But I think um, we'd have to lay down some ground rules. And if I see him lay down the ground rules and everybody is good with it, then that's one thing because it's. It's my house. Let me tell you something. He have to be bringing so much to the table. And I love my in-laws. I really do. We just left them spending time with um, them this week. My mother-in-law this weekend. My father-in-law, unfortunately, has passed on. But, you know, and I love them. And uh, we, my mother-in-law, and I, we have an understanding. She was like, look, just just check on me and put me in an assisted living facility. Oh. <laughs> she was like, I don't want to be a burden. And she's so not. But I just think that, you know, I would probably do it if there was like a like an in law suite. Like the the house would have to be so big that I would have my own space, but yet I would still want to take care of them. Like it would definitely be like an in uh, in law suite in order for that to work. I mean, so I just what is can't. your answer? Let me just read the answers again. Really? So I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. So A is you love him, so the more the merrier. B, this isn't for you. I didn't sign up for that. C, only if your parents can move in too. D, agree, they can move in, but not right away. I would say D would be for me. Okay. Okay, so D would be my answer. A is Kelly's answer. Yes. Um, because I need time to foster this marriage. I mean, in the we, you we, really do. You know, in, in the beginning of any marriage, that first year is critical. Mm-hmm. It is crucial. It is it's pivotal. It's rough a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a real good time, usually. Yeah. <laughs> but you need, I mean, you really need to foster that relationship. So, yeah, my answer would be D. Yeah, they can move in, but probably not right away. So, I would probably adhere to his culture. Um, but we'll have to make some sort of compromise and he'll just have to compromise yeah so um so my answer was a which is majority rule so you would not be able to you'd have to go back one however you see how it happens to be good dialogue where you have you know good conversation um i'm thinking more a i love him so the more the merrier but he's gonna have to take me on some vacations or we'll have to travel and get out of the house more so that we can still who's watching our the relationships parents? who's watching the parents no he didn't say that they were decrepit <laughs> or anything was wrong with the he just said that that was their culture Girl, there's bye. a lot of culture is that yeah, way. Yeah, I so, get it. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to give up on love because his culture says uh-huh. that. However, we're going to have to get out of the house and foster our own relationships. Mm-hmm. So we might be traveling more. Yeah. We might, you know, have some staycations. We might be going straight from work someplace. Mm-hmm. So okay. they can have the house sometimes. Okay. All right. So, so I have um, another majority rules uh this will create dialogue as well. Another majority rules question. So it says you bump into your ex's best friend at a party and you totally hit it off. Do you a not follow up? He's off limits. B call your ex and ask permission. If you can like see him, uh, C date him and see where it goes. D sleep with him and keep it a secret. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> why, she's ring- why is she ringing the bell? Why is she ringing the bell? So, <laughs> so first of all, um, I really feel like my answer would not be um, a he's off limits because if it's your ex's best friend, you know, well, I don't know. I mean, I, me probably, I would, I would probably date him and see where it goes and then maybe have the conversation with my ex. Um, just out of respect, I really believe that, um, you know, you keep the lines of communication open. I mean, I'm usually pretty good friends with all of my exes for whatever reason. So is my husband. Mm-hmm. They come to our cookouts. They come to, you know, stuff like that. And so, you know, I'm really good friends with mine and he's good friends with his. But so I have a really good relationship with like all of mine. So I would say, hey, you know, I just want to let you know that I really enjoy talking to such and such. And we just really hit it off. And you know, I really want to just, and so you're not asking him for permission, but you're just kind of letting him know that this is what I'm going to do. So out of respect, I would let him know that this is what I'm going to do. That's, is that an answer? Um, I'm dating him and see where it goes, but I would still, so my combination, that would be a combination. There's no combination. Of, it is. It's a combination. No it's a combination between What is C the answer? A, B, C, or D? It's um, C. Date him and see where it goes, but then I would still tell him. Okay. So your answer is C. It's C. Okay. Yeah. So mine is what's the question again? I'm sorry, <laughs> just read it one more time. <laughs> so you're you bump into your ex's best friend at a party and you two totally hit it off. Mm-hmm. So think about your ex and think about his best friend. Uh, <laughs> Probably not. No, not that, no, no, not that one. no. But just think about it. Just think about it. Have a a great guy in mind. Like he was yeah. super fine and he was charming and yeah, I mean if yeah, we know, totally hit it and off. Like, and totally then what's hit the answer? Off. The so. A, not follow up. He's off limits. B, call your ex and ask for permission. C, date him and see where it goes. D, sleep with him and keep it a secret. Oh. I'll probably do um, B, C, and D. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Knowing me, I would do B, C, and D. <laughs> As we said, there's only one answer. So I would say, I would say C. What was C? C, right. We got the right answer. Date him and see where it goes. Date him and see where it goes. Okay. I mean, and not, when I say date him, I would just have some conversations and see where it goes. Why open up that can of worms to call my ex up and say, oh, hey, by the way, I don't even know if we're compatible. You don't even know if compatible. You may have degree. had a great time that night, right. or, you know, just talking and whatever. And then you have to worry about your ex thinking that every time you're out, you know, talking to him or something and it might not have even hit it off. So past that night so no I would just go ahead and yeah, date him and see, see where it goes, where it goes. and, and uh, worry and about that later sleep with him later <laughs> <laughs> let me just find my bell I don't even know we're over here just cutting up guys yes. we're just cutting up. that's all <laughs> okay so this one happens to be one of your friends introduces you to one of the nicest gentlemen you've ever met and this is a duo preferred answer yeah, so we okay. actually give the answer so one of your friends introduces you to one of the nicest gentlemen you've ever met. But every time you meet him, he's sweating profusely and ends the date smelling badly. Mm. Oh. Oh. I know people that have overactive sweat glands. Okay, let's say. <laughs> Do you Do. A. Recommend your favorite men's cologne and hope he gets the hint? Mm-mm. Do you? You can't. You will have to read them all so they can try to figure it out. <laughs> I'm over your process. Yeah, figure in my head. out their okay. answer. Okay. B. Do you go to the bathroom and throw up? He's disgusting. C. Mention that you notice him sweating and ask if he wants to move to a cooler place. Or D. Stop calling him. He is not the one for me. And we've had this actually um, when we sent out a, a few dates where someone mm-hmm. was sweating. I'm so nervous though. Yeah, well, I can tell you what our answer was, and I can tell you what's happened on most occasions. <laughs> <laughs> and this is matchmaking life. <laughs> so, um, we'll give you all a chance to figure out what your answer is. Again, um, A, recommend your favorite men's cologne and hope he gets the hint. B, go to the bathroom and throw up because he's disgusting. C, mention that you notice him sweating and ask if he wants to move to a cooler place. Or D, stop calling him because he is not the one for me. 
Well, first of all, A, which is offer him your favorite men's cologne. Ooh, so um, nothing cologne worse than with, sweaty funk. Yes, cologne <laughs> mixed with must Ooh, is not a great combination. So that would not be my answer because that's funny. Well, we're the ones who gave the answer. I know. Okay, we, yeah. we, I know what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> that's funky. <laughs> Some people might go to the bathroom and throw up. He's disgusting. Uh, the actual dual preferred answer was C. Mention that you notice him sweating and ask if he wants to move to a cooler place. Now, the reason that we gave that answer, which, of course, we won't be there to play the game all the time and give you the reason. But the reason that we gave that answer, we've had several dates that I've gone out and the man was sweating profusely. I mean, maybe he didn't wear like an undershirt and they're outside mm. or whatever. And he's nervous. And... I think on most of the occasions, the women did not go back out again. And I'm talking about these were amazing men because we spoke with them and we interviewed them um, prior to setting them up. And they just were like, no, I can't take it. I don't know. He has some type of sweating problem. Mm -hmm. But I think they probably miss out on, I'd say, 90 percent of the time. Um on someone who was really amazing. It could have been that he was nervous. It could have been that, I mean, you can just never know. He can move to a cooler place and you can kind of see more about what he's about and see if you're compatible. I don't know. But um, that is what we yeah suggested. So, and then, so as we're wrapping up here, we're going to um, <laughs> do a couple of challenges. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see what so, we yes, And here. so when you go around the board, there, there's a chance that you might land on a duo challenge. And so that kind of breaks up the monotony and allows them. It's so funny that we did a live version of this game at <laughs> oh, Essence yeah, Festival. Essence Festival so fun. So much fun. I mean, we had a DJ, we had music. And so a lot of these games really came to life. And we would suggest that you have a a good playlist of music um, handy when you're playing the game with your friends. Mm-hmm. But I digress. So one of the challenges mm-hmm. um, is <laughs> so here's a challenge, guys. This is my cow so, app. One of the challenges is to go outside and sing the words to <laughs> Whitney Houston's And I Oh God. No, we don't want you to sing it. We'll always love you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No. Y'all know I love karaoke. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And it was a little hoarse because we had a cookout over the weekend. Wait a minute. And- Why is it? Let me just tell you something. I'm leaning in right now. Why is it that when we go to church or something and somebody gets the mic and they already know they're not going to be sounding good, they're like, that would be me. Let, let me, me just be- um, let me just preface I'm this. Hoarse. By, um, I'm hoarse. I'm hoarse. I had a cold. I had the flu. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling well. Mm-hmm. Just because they know it's not really yes, sounding that's well. It. No, it sounds great. <laughs> and I oh, God. We'll always Let me help you all love out. you. <laughs> so just we'll let silly, the cowbell ring. Silly stuff. I'm just oh, a little horse. I'm just a little horse. She's a little horse. <laughs> a little horse. <laughs> You can find me on any Tuesday night doing karaoke oh. anywhere across the globe. Just Mm-mm-mm. inbox me for details. <laughs> wow. Anyway, yeah. So it's just. You know, stuff like that. Or, you know, you may, um, you know, grab two of your friends. You know, the challenge may say, you know, grab two of your fr- friends and turn and do your favorite line dance. Or you, the singer, they're the backup dancers. That so was a lot of fun. Too. It was yeah, a, lot a lot of fun. Of we fun. did that one at Essence Festival, too. So just to create and promote fun. I mean, it's all about having fun, guys. So yes. I mean, some of the challenges are so funny. Um, but like we said, I think it's just we have so much pressure as women um, just doing big things and, you know, pressing our way to get to from one place to the other in life. And so these challenges are there to just, you know, get you out of your comfort zone, get, get you to have some great memories with your friends. And, um, you know, years down the line, you'll say, remember, we did that, you know, song and you all were my backup dancers or. It might say turn to your left and do your best pickup line on, you know, the person next to you. So it was just so funny seeing what people would say. I mean, so we always say, oh, yeah, men should have a pickup line. But do you have a pickup line? Mm -hmm. If you see someone amazing, what do you have in your arsenal? So if you don't have anything, that's kind of eye opening that, you know, at least you have some go to's by the time you finish playing the game. If you can't get it done, somebody else might be able to. Hilarious. And give you some pointers. And so (laughs) there is a space on the board when you get to the thr- the third row which is um, the dating um, no the second row which is the dating row you get to pick up your ba- 
Bachelor. And so the Bachelor cards are face down. So you don't get to sift through the cards, ladies, you don't and get pick to out pick the man, man that you yeah, want. No. no, you pick whatever is on top. And this one happens to be Meet Mark. His occupation is a construction home builder. He's single, never married, no children. His hobbies are gourmet chef, working out, DIY home projects, traveling mm. across the country. Who doesn't like a oh, man, man that can do a good DIY project? And travel across and the country. And travel and cook. I'm like, hey, mom. And build something. Hey, mom. Hey, boo. Okay. <laughs> hey, boo. Yeah. So, so we have all kinds of people. You don't know what your um, bachelor is going to be. Like Tana said, it could be a construction worker. It could be um, a hedge fund manager. It could be a real estate broker. You don't know what it is. but It could be a pastor. It could be a pastor. <laughs> Yeah. I want you to keep an open mind, ladies. Keep an open mind. It could mind. be a musician. Yeah. So we don't know. Whoever it is, he's amazing. <laughs> right. And you're dating. <laughs> so it's also, it's so funny to when we were play testing this to just watch the women around the board. And they, they were so excited to get to pick their man. And they oh. were like, who'd you get? Well, I want to trade with you. I want him. I'm like, nope. Uh-uh. I'm keeping him because ooh, yes. he, he's, uh-uh, yours got kids. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. I don't want that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, but so that was so funny. funny that after, I guess, a few rounds of the game, everybody was pretty much comfortable with their person. So that's one of the reasons that we kind of came up with that, where you can't sift through all the cards. You get who you get. And let's just see if you can make it work. Because I think at the end of the day, we want you to think about, you know, getting outside of your type. You know, whether your type has worked or your type hasn't worked, at least getting out of that, you know, box that he has to be this, mm-hmm. he has to be that. So... Whatever, whoever you get, it's a game. We were just playing and just see how it can work out. And by the time everyone was finished, they were pretty much happy with it. Oh, they, they were happy. They were calling them, babe. And babe, <laughs> let me go. Let me go. Um, message my babe and let them know I'm on my way home. <laughs> so funny. So, yes, yeah. And then the next uh, row is engaged. So you'll see when you pass that row that you're now engaged and everybody's clapping like, oh, congratulations. Congratulations. You're engaged. It's like they're really engaged. Yes. <laughs> They are, but I mean, once you start getting into this whole, uh-huh. you know, room full of escapism and you're kind of in the whole zone, you are engaged. They're like, yay, yay. let's start planning. Let's yes. start planning, girl. <laughs> so it's so fun. And like I said, only one. And it's so funny when the, oh, they, get like, the they get towards the oh, end and everybody is like waiting to see who's going to make it to the oh. altar. Cause, because again, the board is shaped in the shape of a ring. And so the guy is actually waiting. The silhouette of a man is actually waiting at the altar for you. So we are so excited excited um, about this game and so we just wanted to share a little bit about yes, the game with we you. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to come back and just say we are back. We are planning season two um, but just a little bit about our new game Race to the Bling. We want all of you to get it so that you can have fun with your friends. We've been having fun with it and we just really want to share it with the world. We want you all to share it with everybody that you know um, just so that you can have fun. As Tana said, once you know, everyone, it's probably usually three or four people, depending on how many people, it's up to nine multicultural women that are pawns in the game that are playing. But as we get to the end, there's like two or three people that are clumped at the end. And it's like, oh my gosh, all this intense miss if that's mm-hmm. a word like who is going to roll and get to this you know altar first so that's when like all the tension builds and it's so much fun so we want you to grab your favorite beverage grab some appetizers and just have fun with each other um we need to actually um uh, we're actually raising funds yes, to mass produce, mass produce it we have invested countless hours and money producing it as far as it is so we um are doing a kickstarter so if you can go to our um, page any of our social media for kickstarter.com you'll see the link um, you can pre-order your game mm-hmm. yeah please do that and then we also have a on our website the matchmaking duo.com um, there's a tab down there and the actual image of the board game you can click on that and you can get to our kickstarter um um, program there, a Kickstarter campaign because we have about maybe 15 days left to raise the, days to left. raise the funds so we can mass produce it guys we need to mass produce um, the game so it's in the hands of the manufacturer now what is that <laughs> bell there dinging like cowbell. that cowbell yes oh my god <laughs> oh lord we're gonna cancel that cowbell so we'll have a new one next next time but. yes I'll have my actual cowbell back yeah but, but I mean so, 30 day campaign and we only have what we have like 15 days left to get on. it done so we need your support we need your help I mean doesn't this game sound fun it is a lot of fun yes and so we want so you to have it. it for the holidays so um yes so please support us our our social media handles are matchmaking duo um so follow us there um race to the bling has a own page it's so race can, the 
number two. Yes, the number two. Race, the number two, The Bling. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they has their own social media pages as well. But, you know, we just want you to be a part of this journey. This is what we've been working for, uh, working on for the last, um, you know, year and a half. And this is why we've taken the hiatus to kind of really f- um, flesh it out, really get it done. And so, but we're back and we're back with season yes. two of the Love Her we've Show with the duo. Guys. We are back and we will see. I've got my cowbell going here just to take us out. <laughs> Please, that thing is like on it's his so last slow. leg. It sounds like it's really out on a farm someplace. But anyway, you all have an amazing, amazing day. We miss you guys. We hope to see you Thank on our you. Kickstarter um, and on all of our social media, the matchmaking duo. Find us on essence.com with all of our content. And we'll see you uh, next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> 